hello welcome to my channel um today i figured i would just do a video about like my average uh doordash day so it's about 10 30. um i'm gonna go get some food because i still haven't had breakfast and i'm going to get some gas for my car and then i am going to start dashing um I'm probably going to flip a coin to see if I'm going to do earn by time or earn by offer. And yeah, so here we go. I am so hungry. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just got gas for uh, $30.90. $30.90. I do drive a Prius, and so that's about average for me. It's an old Prius, <laughs> but I love her. Um... I got this, it's a salted caramel java monster, and I'm excited to try it because I've never had this kind before, 200 milligrams of caffeine, I highly recommend lots of caffeine when you're trying to dash because the more orders you do the better, usually. Um, I also got a chorizo burrito because why not? I got and they're called chaos. I like them. They're a mix of sweet, sour, smoky, spicy, and salty. And I got this cliff bar as a snack later in order to dessert, depending on how you want to look at it. I highly recommend eating before you dash. And then I also got a couple body armor water hydration super drinks. I guess that's what they are. Um, I highly recommend drinking water or electrolytes when you drink caffeine because otherwise, if you're like me and you're super sensitive to caffeine, you're just gonna feel a little super shaky. Um, and also I recommend eating when you have caffeine as well. Otherwise, like I said, it's just, it's just gonna make you feel anxious and you're not gonna be having a good time, so. It's so good. Let's see, what's my car saying that I get? Uh -huh. It hasn't registered yet. Right now it's saying I only have like 100 miles left in my tank, but usually I can get about 500 miles off of one tank of gas. Oh, I was supposed to shake it. Oh well. It's not bad. Ooh. It's got a little bit of a tang to it. So this will be my first meal of the day. Pretty much all I'm going to have until I stop working. And so that probably won't be until later. Unless I get like super hungry again. Um, keep in mind, I am a very short female. So I need a little less calories than other dashers. Um, this burrito is 930 calories. This bag of chips is 400 calories. And then my Cliff Bar. <laughs> is 250 calories so together oh oh I guess there was something happening the other day when I was delivering there were like a million cop cars out with their sirens on so hopefully that doesn't happen again today because I was doing an order at the time and it was really annoying because it caused a lot of traffic that I had to sit in 
and the order was not that good. So I thought it was going to be a really short order and it turned into a really long order. Um, but the people were nice about it, so it wasn't too bad or anything. Um, but okay, so all together, this would be like 1500 calories. So you definitely want to eat enough for your body because dashing, most of it is just sitting in a car driving, but that does use a lot of brain power and your brain uses carbs, so you need to eat. I'm probably only going to do eight hours today. So I'll probably go from like 11 to three-ish and then four to eight-ish. I love people watching at the gas station, but I try really hard not to be too obvious about it. There was this one lady earlier though, I was like, staring her down because like if you people watch you know some people you see them and you're just like whoa <laughs> like they're a very interesting person okay they're captivating um and so she did catch me looking at her so that was kind of awkward hmm. there was another ambulance i wonder what's going on I swear, this gas station is better than Taco Bell. And I love some Taco Bell. I really need to start meal prepping though. Because all this together, I could have bought a lot more food at the grocery store for cheaper, so. I guess this is like my one meal of the week where I get to eat out. Um, one day of the week, I guess. I meant to make a pickup order for my groceries last night, but I forgot. <laughs> so I might just go during my break. I'm still trying to decide if I like the earn by time option for DoorDash. I've had some good experiences and I've had some bad experiences, so. I'm still iffy on it. Well, I have a coin that is uh, thoroughly stuck to the bottom of my coin holder, so I'm gonna have to try to find a different one. My son lately has been liking to collect coins, uh, so anytime I get spare change, I usually just give it to him, and so I don't know if I have any spare change in my car right now. Oh, I found a penny. So let's say heads I'll do Earn by time and tails I'll do earn by offer. So how do I do this? Okay. Oh, that's not a flip. It kind of did though. Do we okay, I'm not gonna look at it. I guess I'll just flip it over and heads. I said earn by time for heads, right? Okay. I guess that's what we do. Okay. My issue with earn by time so far. If it's busy, in my area, it's usually, it works great. But eventually what happens is you get stuck doing a long order, okay? In my area, long orders are like 10 miles or more. Um, half the time, these orders take me outside of the zone. And I live right next to the mountains. And so the worst experience I've had so far is I took one of these super long orders and I had to go through the mountains, okay? It takes 30 minutes to get to the town that's on the other side of the mountains. And it was only like an $11 order. 
So it takes 30 minutes to get there and it takes 30 minutes to get back into the zone. And so I technically made $11, which in my area right now, the pay is like $11 per hour, but it's still, I only got paid for half the hour because you only get paid when you're doing the order. And so as soon as that order was up, I had 30 hours of just driving back to the zone when I didn't get any orders. And so I think today I'm going to try to deliver um, on the side of my zone that's like furthest away to the mountains to try to make it so I don't get orders through the mountains, but we'll see. The first time I tried, or by time, like the very first order I got was like a super long one. And it only took me 15 minutes out of the zone, which I still was annoyed by, but like it was only 15 minutes, so it was okay-ish. Um, but that person did not tip, and it was just a weird order because um, they had me drop it off at like a security gate for like a college, I think. Some kind of school. And the guy that was there was like, you know, I don't know if this is going to be here by the time he gets here. And I was like, oh, okay. And that's not uh, you. That's not on me. But yeah. I don't understand people who order food for their job if they're not even at the job yet. Especially because this one had like a milkshake with it. And so I'm like, I mean, I guess if you like, you know, like a soupy milkshake. You know, that's fine, but I don't know. Um, one of the reasons I do DoorDash is because after I had my second baby, I used DoorDash a lot because I was a new mom and I just did not feel like cooking. And my family was not close to me at the time, so... I just did a lot of DoorDash. It was also during COVID. Um, and it just really helped me out. And so I'm kind of, you know, returning the favor now that my children are older. And, you know, hopefully, I like to think some of the orders that I do are like just going to moms who just had a baby or have sick kids or something and they need just some help getting some food. There's a UPS or a USPS truck at the gas station. Hmm. That is something I'm thinking I would like to do when my kids are like a little bit older is drive for either like mail delivery or like be the Amazon kind of driver that drives like the Amazon vans um, because right now I am an Amazon flex driver but it doesn't feel as official because you get some weird looks sometimes when you uh, drive up in your car and you just have their Amazon package. <laughs> I keep getting super sunburnt on like this part of me and so sunscreen all right I'm gonna uh, throw my trash away clean up and then start delivering okay first one of the day it's a super short one it's a place I delivered to before it's an office building um, it's a huge chick-fil-a order so that's always good I really hope they gave me straws though because they're usually in the cup holder but this time they weren't 
so that's kind of weird um hopefully they're in the bags <laughs> Okay, that one was good. I got a big tip. I'll put the total somewhere on the screen. Now I'm going to do a pizza order. Okay, so just did that pizza order. I am racing back to the hot spot. I mean, I'm going the speed limit. Um, that was a pretty good one too. And so I'm trying to do an eight delivery order streak in four hours. Cause if I do that, I get like a bonus, which I think is like $12. So yeah, let's keep it going. Okay, that one I had to wait forever for, but that's okay, because I'm doing it by time. Um, and it was weird, because it was two orders went to the same place, which I get a lot of those lately. Um, but yeah, and then it didn't show me how much I made from that one, so I'm probably just gonna have to look it up later, but it's all good. All right, let's keep it going. Okay, I got my next one. This one is just a small order of KFC mashed potatoes and gravy. But I'm not judging, okay? I'm not judging um, as long as I'm getting paid. All right, you can order whatever you want and I'll bring it to your door. <laughs> uh, maybe they're pregnant and they got a cra uh, craving. I don't know. But definitely the first time I have ever seen someone just order mashed potatoes and gravy from KFC. So, yeah. All right, just got a Panda Express order. Every time I pick up from here, I think of that song that's like Panda 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 and that might be showing my age a bit but whatever okay gonna go drop this one off all right now i am doing one for our barbecue place um it's really annoying to get to because you have to like park in the middle of town so there's usually not parking and they're usually doing construction on the road next to it and so that just makes it a nightmare to get to but pay by time this is, this is an instance where it's really good to be doing pay by time. Like if it takes you a while to find parking and if you have to wait a while at the restaurant for the food, like it's awesome when you're getting paid to just uh, wait. So yeah, I'm gonna drop this off and then do one more and then I think I'll take my break. Okay, so that one actually had a pretty good pay on it. Um, so I got my last order for this time for this this round um and so i'm gonna go pick it up and hopefully it doesn't take too long and then i'm gonna take my break okay so it is 2 p.m i just finished my last delivery um i made about if i could learn how to use my camera that'd be great um uh, i made about 70 in like three hours um yeah i'm gonna go take a break and see my babies for a bit <laughs> and then I'll probably go back out around 4 p.m. for the dinner rush. I forgot to say that last order I did was um, they had to sign it was a handed to me order and I had to get a signature and I don't understand why I get those so like if you know why DoorDash does that sometimes please let me know because like I've never had to sign for a DoorDash order and like I never see it as an option so I don't understand why. I'm guessing maybe it's because they don't want people to be able to report that they never got the food but like I don't know. So um, it's super awkward though because like the guy I don't think he was expecting me to ask for a signature and I'm just like uh yeah you could just sign real quick like with Amazon deliveries it's not that weird because I feel like people are used to signing for a package but for food it's a little bit different um but yeah uh, it was a pretty good uh lunch rush though I would say it is a Thursday and Thursdays do tend to be busier in this area um, and the weather is nice and I swear in this area like when the weather is nicer it's busier versus in other areas if it's like horrible weather the tips get better but it's a lot slower because like people just aren't ordering when it's like storming outside okay it is four o'clock and I'm about to start round two of the day first one for this round is a drink order if you know you know they are five very <laughs> large drinks um i do have multiple cup holders in like my trunk but i'm just gonna use what the store gave me and hope for the best i forgot to say i'm doing earn by time again 
just because that's what the coin said to do today. So, um, I'm now picking up a McDonald's order. I don't like this McDonald's. Um, usually when it gets busy, like it's a nightmare getting out of this parking lot because of the drive through blocks the parking lot. Yeah. Um, the last order I did was a no tip order, but it was okay because the earn by time thing kind of evened it out. Um, yeah, so let's keep it going. Okay, so I just did that McDonald's order. I keep forgetting to take screenshots of the um, in totals, but um, it was about $5. And then the one I did before that was about $5. And so when I do um, earn by offer, I usually try to take orders that are like $5 or more and five miles or less. Cause in my area, that's just usually what is plentiful. Um, if you can do better in your area, go for it. Just in mine, if I did, if I tried to go for like $7 orders, <laughs> they're like nearly non-existent. Um, but the area I used to dash in, <laughs> um, that was in a different state. It was, I guess, a more wealthy area, and so I could get orders like that all the time. And so it really just depends on your area. Um, I'm going to pick up a Wins Wendy's, I almost said Wednesday, a Wendy's order. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. I realized I uh, am not earning a delivery streak for this, and so I'm not sure how many I'm gonna have to do to get to my like what I want to get to, but I guess we'll just wait and see. Okay, now I am doing a McDonald's order. I just did a pizza order. I've been getting a lot of um, pizza orders lately that are weird. And like, so one of them, I know what happened was someone ordered a pizza for someone from their church and they didn't know where this person lived and they didn't know their name but they were sending them a pizza. <laughs> okay, so I just did another pizza order. Luckily they answered the door this time when I uh, ring the doorbell. I'm going to do another pizza order, so that's great. Also, if you do DoorDash, but you're not part of the pizza program, I highly recommend it. I also recommend that you get the good pizza bag, um, not the like flimsy one. I don't know where people get those from. I only got the nice one. I did have to pay for it, but like, save your receipts, use it as a tax write-off, whatever, just get the good one, because, I don't know, it just, it works very well. <laughs> um, I'm going to do this one, and then I'll be at uh, five orders for my streak, and probably try to do three more. This one has taken a while, all right? Like, I'm only at like $35 so far. <laughs> So that's not a lot. I mean, I guess I'm like halfway there. I was trying to make it another 70, um, like I did this afternoon. Uh, but I guess we'll see what happens. I guess it's not as busy. I guess people are going out. It does look like something is going on around town. Um, so yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to see how this one goes. I will never understand people who order ice cream and live like 15 minutes away from the store. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this, which is just a cup holder, putting their ice cream in the bag, and then zipping it up and hoping it does not completely melt by the time I get there. Because I do feel bad when that happens, but I don't know. I'm thinking about getting a cooler and some ice packs. Okay, I just did a, another pizza order. Surprise, surprise. And now I am heading towards a McDonald's to try to get one more order. And then I'm gonna go home for the day because I'm done. Like, it is slim pickings tonight. I am not making nearly as much as I did this afternoon. So, hopefully I get one more. It's almost 7.30 and my shift is supposed to end at eight. Okay, so I just did my last order of the day, which was a McDonald's order. McDonald's always 
you know, always saves the day. It seems like, like, there is always a delivery order for McDonald's, no matter what time of day it is, it seems. Um, so, with, I got another eight order streak bonus, um, and so with that, I was able to make about 70 again for my second shift, and so I will put my daily totals somewhere on so this is me from the future, and no, I will not be adding a screenshot. Average day of me door dashing, I did about six hours, I think. I'll have to look back at the totals for the day. Um, so not too shabby, you know, not too bad. I'm not complaining. I'm grateful <laughs> for the money that I got. Um, I'm thinking tomorrow, or maybe Saturday. I might wait till Saturday. We'll see. I might try to see how many orders I can do uh, in like um, 12 hours maybe. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> um, yeah. So I guess comment down below if there is a DoorDash challenge you want to see me do. I think the craziest one I've seen has been DoorDashing for 24 hours straight. Not sure if I'm ready for that one yet, but I might get there eventually, so. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about dashing or anything like that, let me know down below. And, uh, yeah, I hope you have a great day. Bye.